Yo, YouTube, it's your boy Desert Fox giving you a happy Monday welcome to the show. I've got a great deck build for you today. We are creating the Red Horde Chinese built deck. It will be a deck build and playthrough. So if you've been liking the deck build and playthroughs, I gotta ask that you hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Uh, so let's dive right in, baby. Yeah, it is Monday here in the Pacific Northwest. And boy, do we have a treat for you. We are doing co a, not a coalition deck. We are doing a uh, Red Four deck. The Red the red horde yes pretty sure i spelled that wrong right but all right and it is none other than china right boom uh so we're about to blast off with this chinese balance build deck and play through uh not gonna waste a lot of time uh activation points here 63 you do get the opportunity to get limited units for the Chinese deck. Let's see what they got in the tanks because I'm a beefy boy and I like beefy tanks. Nice. So we've got this uh, outstanding Chinese tank here. Uh, pretty cool. It's 130. Not too bad. You don't get too many of them, but that's to be expected. With a more expensive tank, we do have uh, five veteran, six hardened, and ten trained. Let's see what they got in that same tier. Okay, a few better numbers, uh, but if you're noticing, move my screen over a little bit, uh, you do notice that for this one, they have this, um, what is it, laser dazzler for choppers. It kind of stuns choppers, which is, can be effective for when you close a range with choppers, being able to shoot them down. So that's good. Um, you have these active protection and a smooth word gun. That's pretty comparable. It's got a decent stabilizer, but the rate of fire is eight. So at least something to be desired. Um, most NATO tanks shoot at nine or 10. So take that into account, but we've got a Chinese neutralizer that you're gonna love here, right? So they got some cheapos, um, would look like some T-55 tanks. Look at that, really really Chinese looking Tiananmen Square style tanks. Uh, these ZTZ 88s, they've got, um, you can take a lot of them, right? Uh, 14 hardened and 19 trained. But you know, they're the medio, medial tanks, right? Um, these are the uber cheapos, you got 50, uh, 50 speed and autonomy is decent, but no armor. Not a real accurate gun, even stabilized. Uh, and then they got these guys. Now, these guys, for 18 points, I'm like, dude, this is not bad. For 18 points, right? You get a gun with 28 rounds. You get a missile. It's okay, but look at all this. So if you're looking for a distraction or a seriously threatening play, you got, you got amphibious, you got fast, autonomy's ugh, but... This unit could be, um, you know, an unsung hero, you know, a good throwaway, but uh, enough to get the enemy's attention to where you're like, oh, I need to, I need to divert resources to, to deal with that. Uh, so that's some of the tanks. We're just kind of looking through what they got. This could be uh, pretty gnarly, exceptional, very fast, right? Got that. Got a rolling recon. We like our rolling recon to go with our rolling units. And they got good tank recon. We got like a good tank recon to go with our tank units. Vehicles. Now, I people might beat me up by this, but I literally believe that this vehicle is one of the best units in the game. And I mean that. Like, probably best unit in the game because of a simple reason. It's cheap. It's nominally fast. It's got 60 you know it's tracked uh strength 15 not a lot of armor but look at the range on that gun Woo! look at it i mean it even looks it looks like i will i will sniper your whole life dude 26 25 most nato tanks shoot at around 22 75 i think let's see uh, we're gonna jump over it takes just to take a peek yeah 2275 that means they have to close a range of about 400 meters that and with you being able to shoot at 10 rounds a minute, it means you get two shots on the enemy for one. 
if you can see him first and that's the niche right optics is poor so they did trade it i think this is still a balanced unit but this range supported right in our balance deck could be a game changer yes it will be in the deck probably both cards uh at hard uh we do have this bad boy right here i like to take these guys uh red arrow uh top attack fire and forget it's good to go you know it's fire and forget so it is an unlimited deck and yeah let's see with with rolling uh recon and if they have rolling support units then you have your triangle met right you can engage infantry air threats and if um excuse me tanks infantry and air threats all going kind of going at the same speed um and then you're, you have your full component met so you have these mm, not necessarily good for stopping helo presses let's see what i got support for stopping helo presses well, we'll come back to support here right but this vehicle uh definitely probably will be taking that they got some other um atgm uh, tracked vehicles and they've got this guy it has it's a mortar basically a mortar truck mortar wheel vehicle um this looks like <laughs> an old german uh, uh i forgot what they're called but you guys know what i'm talking about those old german tanks that uh they're they're tank destroyers right they begin with an s right decent decent pretty good uh ap power on the gun um, eight, uh, rain. Uh, this is the problem with this, right? I would take something like this if you traded it off with, um, some like increased like auto cannon or something like that to where it's not eight. If it's like higher than eight, you know, for 28 points, that's pretty good. But if you're, if you're thinking about getting that, why not just get this, you know? Uh, less AP power, way more range, f higher rate of fire. I think even the armor is better, right? It just makes more sense to get this guy for a little bit more money. Yeah, and I think he's quicker. Yeah, he is 16 kilometers per hour. So, I mean, it's something to consider if you just want to throw some cheapos in your deck. Choppa, getting the choppa, baby. We have these Z9 Charlies with these long range fire and forget uh armor penetrate this is absolutely beast gnarly it is in their limited deck um you must go with uh china or coalition with china in it uh great for popping probably anti-air tanks whatever you want to hit targets of extreme interest interest and low interest uh, at 90 points you can pretty much hit what you want to hit uh excuse me at 70 points jeez uh it's attractive <laughs> you got this dog fighter right here really good dog fighter man um and then this atgm helo won't be probably taking that with the other good stuff they have uh they have some what basically look like some gazelle hots uh and look at that that's so like look at those guys chilling man they, they need two people to pilot that and it's got like a whole hotel back here man it's crazy you have a full uh, king size bed back there um, cool. So what else we got? Uh, this thing is super intimidating. Uh, it's got rockets and, uh, ADGMs, 27 AP power. Pretty good. Accuracy, pretty good. Uh, it is semi-active, so you can shoot on the move, but you kind of want to hit what you shoot at. So I don't know. Uh, it's from what else you mean? You can have a cheaper niche. Uh, I can hit what I want to hit where this range is just, you know, if you can take this and take this, why would I take this? Or if I can take this for 40 points and, and concentrate my fire, why would I take 130 point, like it's jack of all kind of trades, but a master of none kind of thing. Uh, and then this guy selected this. Ooh, okay. Or not. He doesn't want to select it. Uh, it has fire and forget missiles infrared, so it is a dogfighter and it can shoot, um, uh, I guess, uh, tanks, right? 26 AP power. It's pretty good, right? Gnarly. Uh, so those are your choppas. This, you get a, an extra recon slot for this guy, I guess. So if you want to take him, he could be a cheat if you just, just lacking in the recon. 
air units. Look at all these freaking bad air units, man. They look aggressive. Are these MiG? Or, excuse me, these J-16? Uh, fire and forget, uh, I guess, um, bunker buster. Looks like a bunker buster and its ability to engage air threats at um, 92, 75 meters. It's pretty good. Decent ECM. You know, this is their multi-role uh, bomber fighter. Air superiority fighter. Kind of a better missile than that one. Uh, PL-12. So it's going to hit what it shoots at. This is good. Uh, what else we got? We've got the SU-27SK, right? Cool. Um, also, air superiority fighter for cheaper. Uh, it's probably not going to hit what it shoots at. But, hey, you know, you better get the advantage of the enemy before he gets it on you. Uh, yeah, Seed Aircraft, really cool guy right here. He looks super aggressive like his homies. Look at that cockpit. Yeah, man. Uh, he's got a back on it. Tell you about it. Uh, JH7 Alpha Firebird, a decent seed, 75 points. Um, when you compare them, obviously this one's gonna be better, but for 75 points, you could probably get away with that. It's got four missiles, so if you utilize it right, uh, maybe not fly directly over all of the infrared <laughs> targets, you could probably get away with getting behind the enemy lines and, and popping it. Uh, this multi role definitely used for popping tank it's of extreme interest um, you probably will lose it though so if it's not popping a high-end tank or a high-end command vehicle or a smirk or something um, don't even call it in because you're you risk it for 70 points and you better you better hit what you shoot at and it's only 55 uh, what else we got here uh, we got multi-rolled cheapos a lot of cheapos man some bombers one or two kilogram bombs i mean that's like sad really oh uh, what is this this it, it, the, the car looks aggressive with this kind of thing old make nice um but you know it is what it is thank you to the modders of this game they did an exceptional job with it i think they couldn't like change the appearance of these like they could add any new graphics so they took ones that weren't really being used and kind of repurposed them so that's kind of the thinking there just gonna go by the stats yeah uh, take what you can get you've got a uh, ground so it is uh, fire and forget for ground targets at medium range it's not even that long you know 60 60 26 so it is hitting ground targets multi -rolled. uh helicopters and aircraft it's a 75 percent but the ECM is pretty good and the uh, turning radius is pretty good so uh can shoot and scoot if you need to pretty nice j20 obviously is going to be an air spirit fighter look at that thing it's not what the j20 actually looks like this card kind of gives it what it's going to probably look like but yeah this j20 i guess it won't select it over there fine um this unit the j20 it has really good missiles and ecm's good tony radius is decent and stealth is good so get in there Ooh, bomber. Uh, 450 kilogram bombs, eight of them. So this is going to be your carpet carpet bomber guy. Uh, and the ability to pop some helicopters and aircraft if it comes across them. So pretty cool. All right. Uh, infantry. Yes. Chinese. The Chinese hordes got to have some gnarly infantry, right? Sinister flamethrower guys. Look at them and their helo chapas. Yeah, that's these guys. Look at that. So off the grip, I'm looking at it, I'm like, dude, this is pretty dope. You have 16 ADGM missiles at 2,800. Uh, they are guided, but that's good range at 60 with 24. It's not bad at all. And they got six units. These guys are the bane, gonna be the bane of your existence. They're special elite forces, uh, Zhai Long, and they have these uh, machine guns and machine guns that look like a, the same machine gun, just longer nose. And the, um, <clears throat> uh, I guess, uh, AT tank units, AT, AT rockets. 23, uh, decent range, 60%. So, I mean, it's not the best in the world, but I guess if you if a, if a tank wants to run up in the tree or in the uh, building, which they're effective, that's where they go. Now, these guys right here, man, they're, they're, your infantry is going to hate them because they already shoot pretty good. Or okay, but these napalm rockets are like basically spet snaps. You're just not gonna win that. They're gonna hit you with a napalm rocket, and you're gonna get your butt kicked. 
Really good infantry. Um, heat, top attack, fire, and forget. These are their shock units. We're going to like these guys a lot because they come in 10. And the missile is nice with good AP power, fire, and forget, and top attack. We like our fire and forget, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, you can shoot and scoop if you need to. Um, and it comes in Hilo, this really old looking transport and this newer looking wheel transport. So that's pretty cool. The newer wheel transport has a missile, 30 millimeters and an active protective system. Yes, the Chinese are a new age, ladies and gentlemen. They are upgrading their forces. What else we got here? Shock, more shock inventory. Um... Uh, that's decent. I would take these before I take these for sure. If we're talking about shock infantry, yes, they're more expensive, but they're going to be worth it. Um, let's see. Ooh, very intense here. Um, a good uh, uh, man pad right here. And then you've got some tank killing units. I'm not sure. I mean, they basically are human tanks. Uh, they shoot at uh, 20. Uh, AP power 25. That is very interesting, actually. Uh, tank Shashu 89, man. And they're relatively cheap. Uh, makes taking armored columns, like if you're running your armored column in a building, like you're, you're, or close to buildings or close to a force, that can be a super nightmare, dude. Uh, so good unit here. Very nice by the, the game. Uh, some tank killer here. It's got some militia. Basically, they're walking cannon fodder. They don't even have. Uh, helmets <laughs> uh, they do have RPG though so uh, you know don't want to mess with them for sure uh, good stealth uh, what else we got these guys right here mortar uh, I've loved these guys regular units the Japanese kind of have them as well uh, these commando mortars make supporting infantry assaults very very fun I'm not sure if we're gonna take them because you know they're not the cream of the crop they're regular but we might have to take them if, you know, ooh, look, they come track. So that's cool. Uh, these track vehicles are actually pretty nice. You only get two of them, though, so if you use them correctly. Uh, speaking of the track vehicles, uh, the semi-active, 2,800 meters, 21 AP power on the missile. It looks nice. And 100 millimeter rounds. Uh, so they're basically their BMP-3. Looks uh, really nice. And it's got a 30 millimeter auto cannon, really good for supporting infantry. So this is designed to su help support the infantry in their mission to go, I guess, infantry and take buildings. You're gonna take these in component with uh, your shock units, uh, probably these guys. Uh, so they support each other. That's really smart. What else do we have here? Uh, we got these guys. They are regular, more tank kinky guys they they do have helmets so they're not the poopers but they do kind of get the job done when they got helmets headbutt you all right so there's our infantry uh let's take a peek at a little support the fob we'll go ahead and add that there and we will see you've got this cool 85 oh also amphibious tactical note there so we'll probably take that guy because he's only 85 points he's fast and he's amphibious he doesn't have any armor. Um, so they have any chopper one? Nope. So they got this tank one and they got this healer one. Um, for points wise, we're just gonna have to do a good job at protecting them. So uh, we'll take the amphibious one because it's cool and we like being able to drive on roads and in the water because we're cool like that, right? Get in where you fit in, baby. All right, so we're gonna take some of the gas trucks, glory uh, war trucks. Uh, we will take some area refueling. This is massive. It takes up my whole screen. I mean, look at the nose on this guy. Wow. Okay. And then we'll take him. And then we'll take him. Because I like to be able to tactically maneuver. Uh, and you just do that more with a chopper recon. Or a chopper command beef. Infantry, we'll come back to infantry. We'll do the tanks first. Because <laughs> the, the infantry is supposed to support the tanks. So it's the core of most that well-balanced decks is your armored force. I'll explain that like that in another video, why you do the stuff like that. But uh, cool. Um, for our heaviest tank, uh, they are about the same, seriously. For 10 points, 
I'm trying to see like a major difference here. Is it the armor? What is it? Yeah, it's the armor. 10 points, I guess. What's the card value? It's about the same. You get one less on the, like, come on, man. Uh, we'll take, yeah, you can take six hard and we'll take that. Boom. It's settled. Settled, man. Um, and they travel really fast. 75, that's going to be hard to catch, right? Uh, this could be, this could be nifty. It's got a missile too. 60, 65. And you get 12. Ooh. That is funny. So we'll take these. We might, we'll, we'll interchange them in the deck with some probably of these. The Laser Dazzlers. That, ooh, they go so slow. We're not taking those. They can't be moving at this, at the speed of negative sound. It's um, not a good look. What is this? Oh, no, tank killer. Right. Um, so what we'll probably do, honestly, is <laughs> we'll take, like, mostly these. Because I like the speed. Uh, let's see the vehicles since we're talking about it. So these go at 60. I'm getting alerts here. Don't mind them. Uh, we will take two of these. Because these are going to come to our tanks. And... Jeez, I'm making a video here. Shut up. We are, uh, we're going to take these to accompany our vehicles, our uh, tanks. So we want to, since we're over here, we'll just throw one of those in there because uh, we like them. Um, but yeah, we, we don't, I don't like the speed of, I mean, it's going, it's slower than the freaking tank killers. But that could be profitable, right? You have 55 kilometers and it goes at 60. I guess that's, I guess that's fair, right? Uh, these guys are okay. We want them to hit what they shoot at, even on the move, in case we have to do a fighting retreat, uh, which we do. <laughs> Finding myself having to do more of those more and more at play. So they're important. Uh, and actually, he has a better stabilizer. He has a better stabilizer than him. So we will take, uh, and they're good cheapo tanks. We'll take uh, two cards of those. Oh, he's going to take one. To disrespect. Yeah, we'll take one card. And you're going to take two cards of him, so we'll take two cards. Fine. You seem to force my hand. <laughs> right? So picky. Uh, we'll have some aerial recon, because that's always good to have. We'll have some rolling recon, because it gives us a tactical advantage. We'll have only five, so we don't need that many. Tank recon, though, is... They go at 60, so it looks like the rolling consensus is 60-point tanks. Uh, we will take the good one. Uh, it's very good. This is very good. It's good. So we want very good. We want the, what we can get. Um, we're they're not going to be in the Vanguard. So or we don't want them to be in the Vanguard. They might end up being in the Vanguard. Right? We want them to stand their ground if they're in the Vanguard. All right. Uh, who else we got? We got this guy. He's going to be the star of the show. Uh, I want him to be a star of the show. So we'll take uh, Fort Harden. And we'll take his dogfighter friend here. He's gonna be. I'm gonna take him too. Um, yeah, it's gonna be an expensive component. No hots, no you. Uh, I don't know. He's got decent stealth, but medium stealth here. Medium stealth. I mean, he, we might take him. I probably won't take him, honestly. Uh, he's got eight missiles, though. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, he's got good recon, I don't know. Uh, okay, maybe we'll take them both. We'll come back, we'll come back. Once we put other stuff in the deck, we'll come back. Support, support's more important than our choppers anyway. We are gonna need some sort of uh, tank support. We will look none other than right here. This thing is absolutely beastly. And is this guy's gun matches this guy's gun. But I've noticed that just the amount of like pop kill ability with missiles and guns to be able to do boom boom the hell the helicopter is like die right now so we like these guys um we're gonna take actually two cards hardened we might switch that up to be near rolling and uh a long range air and artillery of some sort so we got those uh let's see we got the rolling aa let's see if that's a rolling aa here this could be good for uh, air aircraft deniability. Uh, this could be good for aircraft deniability. More of it. This is more for chopper deniability, but it's not very accurate. I mean, this might be what we have. 
So we might have to take what we got. And what that means is your stay ability for uh, rolling like units is not, you're gonna have to constantly like refill these guys because they're gonna miss a lot. So you gotta take the veteran because they have to hit what they shoot at. <laughs> With an eight HE power of three though, I'm hoping that one missile, one shot, one kill kind of. I really hope that's how that works. Um, and then, so that's your rolling components AA. And then you've got these, uh, ooh, these are so nice. This really is hitting me, daddy. Okay. Uh, then you've got, um, what else we got? This smart, it's basically, it's basically a smart, right? 12 rounds, top attack, local, correct, right? Boom. It's going to get one of them, basically a smart. Uh, super like scud. I'm going to just call these scuddies because they basically are scuddies. And this thing, uh, man. The range is a poop, so you can't just sim at your fault. But hey, I mean, it's it's old school China, man. Dropping bombs, baby. This also could be comparable to do the same thing, just a little shorter. It's got 38 rockets though, so I mean, it's it's an infantry nightmare. Um, and then you've got these. I'm not a big fan of microing, so howitzers, stuff like that. I'm, they have their place in this game, but for me, we'll just take the smart bump it. Take that one smudge, right? Boom. So dangerous. Infantry. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So, that's why I make the tanks first, is because I need to know at what speed my tanks are going at so that my infantry is not outrunning them, right? So, if I'm putting these tanks in the vanguard, maximum 75, minimum uh, 55. Uh, that's even still, you know, you can, you're going to be lagging with this a little bit so um your tracked vehicles the the guys that are going to support your tanks in case they run into buildings or hedgerows stuff like that uh, we're not answering uh what else we got we got so these lays on uh, these can be a nightmare for infantry we might take these in some sort of uh helo to get in there and mix it up on the wings but really, we're looking for track vehicles. We're looking for stuff like this. Um, this guy just looks, it's nasty, man. Uh, we want that shock infantry, though, these guys. Yeah, you guys, can you come in with track vehicle? No? No, sir, you're not going to give me what I want? Okay, fine, I'll just go look somewhere else. Yes, so we are looking for regular infantry uh, in these tracked vehicles. The good track vehicles, not just the hogwash stuff that might be in a quick switch, might be involved with the tanks, right? The enemy's tank, so it might have to hold the gap or you know take a take a hit. Uh, we might do these guys. They get ten of them. They move at twenty, uh, and in com a combination with these guys, uh, they also move at twenty for the same thing. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is looking like the duo, the, the heavenly duo here. So we're going to get one of those for the track, and then we're going to get um, one of these. Uh, so 14, 14. That's going to be cool for us. Um, and then we're going to use these guys um, as a wheeled component. If we get, Yeah, we're going to use them wheeled to get in and shake things up. Boom. We're going to take... Uh, accuracy yeah we're gonna take seven of them harder it's gonna be a speciality guy and we want to take a lot of times if you're gonna take heat you see these guys are going with the tanks so they're gonna be supported by the tanks AA these guys though are gonna be going by themselves so they might have to take their own AA sometimes that keeps up with them uh, so you don't want to take any of these tracked so we're gonna take is this the best AA we can pin that cool uh, any other AA you guys down here down here down here these guys uh, so it is the best AA unit. So we will take the best of the best of the best, right? Uh, like Will Smith. Oh, this is by the way, Will Smith smacked the the mess out of Chris Rock. <laughs> uh, that happened at the Oscars. I don't know um, when you guys are watching this, but the day I'm recording this is the day after the Oscars, um, and that's the day that Chris uh, Will Smith smacked. The, the the mess out of Chris Rock. Why is that even relevant right now? Because uh, we want the best of the best, right? Um, 
in Men in Black, that was one of Will Smith's lines. Uh, you know, he was making fun of the Men in Black dude, right? So there's that. All right, so we've got these guys. Boom. Uh, what else do we have? Lu, Lu Jean. We're going to take these just because they're cool, right? We want to be cool here. Um, why, why else do men do what they do, right? To impress ladies, and it better be cool. Uh, we're going to take them in these wheeled vehicles here. Veterans, very nice. We might take some of the chapas. Um, and then these guys, because they have the, uh, they're going to be like a, I don't know, they're really good for fighting in the forest, right? So we're going to take some of these. Uh, they fight very fast, though. So we're going to take uh, seven or ten. So tens and tens. These guys are going to go together, right? Well, they're not going to go together, actually. Uh, so if we want to take a chopper component of these flamey ones, uh, we're going to have to take them and another chopper. And that's what we'll do. We'll take them veteran and a chopper. So we got a full component of infantry. Weasel for the flamey boys. That's what we're going to call them. The flamey boys. Those napalm rockets are nasty. Uh, uh, and these guys are going to be supporting our the rolling component for getting in buildings and kind of supporting, taking the buildings as much as they can take them uh, and supported by AA. These guys are going to be rolling with your tanks, and these guys are going to be kind of get the job done. If it's a, if it's an infantry, the flaming boys are going to take it. If it's a tank, the busty boys are going to take it. Tank busters, right? Okay, uh, got that, got that. Recon's looking nice and nasty. Uh, got the vehicles, right? The one thing we haven't built is the air force. So this is going to be kind of hard, right? I really don't know how to play with the Chinese air force because. They don't really stand out anywhere, right? They don't have glide bombs. This guy, you know, the secret missile's not extremely long range. Nothing like it's really exemplifies. They do have this. So it's got a jammer pod. I like that. It's got a secret missile with decent range. I do like that. Great ECM. And, you know, it's decent. So I'll take. Uh, you only get one. See, that's the thing. You only get one of them. So I'll take one. Uh, Firebird's there. We do want that, uh, It this basically will double as our air superiority fighter, so we don't have to worry about air superiority fighter there, but we will have to worry about ground support. So, for supporting the ground units, we will take guys like him. Not sure if we're going to use a lot of him, but uh, he's going to be good for busting up tanks. So we're going to take three of them, because we hopefully don't have to use too many of them. Kind of napalm guy, you can't really go wrong with a good napalm. Uh, probably won't be taking any of these guys. No, they're not necessary. We've got our air superiority and seed fighter. Um, yeah, most of these are air superiority fighters, but they're cheapos. So there's no need for, you know, one kilogram, 1,000 pound bomb. Like, it's okay. You better hit your target. Uh, this guy could come in handy if we have to take an air force. So we'll take him. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing those star players. We'll take some of these, okay? We'll take the veteran. Glide bombs with uh, with that much power, with a lot of power, they can, they can be effective. They have their place in this game. And we'll take him because he looks cool, fine. All right, so we've got our aircraft. Where else can we double up? Um, let's see, vehicles. We only got one weasel. Uh, he could be, you know, swarm the enemy with long-range missiles if we need to. What about support? Can we get no? We're full support. What about the tanks? Okay, so we will take Mr. Cool Guy, uh, Mr. 18 Point Cheapo, right? We'll take him, Amphibious, totally cool. Um, infantry, full there. Logis logistics, we might be able to take a uh, for two points. Yeah, fills right that slot. Real nasty. Um, yeah, we got enough cargo and trucks for gassy gas. Yeah, we'll we'll do the tank. We'll do the tank. We might even use a tank because uh, being able to take four. Uh, so I think a built-in component of this game also is that your unit's accuracy kind of fights better when the command vehicle is close. I don't know how true that is. But if you're going to support your tanks, you probably should have a tank if you're a command vehicle tanky guy. So cool. So that's your, your red horde there. Uh, your supply line there with your command E vehicles there. And then you have a tank there, which is nice. Uh, tank 
supporting infantry here. Um, these guys are with these guys gonna basically go in tandem, maybe take buildings and shoot at stuff. And then these are our um, flamey boys and our busty boys getting the job done. You know, they got their Chippendale masks on, really nice. Um, tank support, rolling air support, um, rolling tank support, excuse me, for AA, rolling air support for AA, uh, long range air support for a airplane deniability, and then you've got this merch for Blitzkrieg component. Um, tanks, 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 and tanks. Cheapo tank here. Maybe he'll be a star player. We'll see. Recon, recon. Uh, exceptional air recon, and it has the ability to dogfight. These guys are probably going to be the star of our show, honestly. And then we've got these red arrow. So cool. Uh, we're going to save your red horde. And we are going to do a playthrough. So we're going to skirmish on this. Gonna go, we'll, we'll go Russian on Russian today. How about that? Yeah, uh, red four on red four. We don't do that very often. Uh, we'll do red horde. Yes, yes. Oh, wrong one. Uh, yes, that one, the red horde. And we will do the start of the deck on me. I don't, I don't have anyone to play with, so uh, we typically just kind of run that. And we'll do a different map style, one we haven't done yet. Um, well, let's not do, I think we've done one major diplomacy before, Hop and Glory. We could do Hop and Glory. You guys want to do Hop and Glory? I don't think I've done Hop and Glory with you guys. If I've done, if I have done it, I'm sorry. Um... I think I definitely have almost done uh, Apocalypse in a minute with you guys. So we're going to do Hop and Glory. Yep. Yeah, beat me up later in the comment section if I have done Hop and Glory. But you guys are here and I'm here. And we're going to have some fun. So let's do this thing, baby. Let's do it. Yes. Outstanding. So we're here on Hop and Glory. We're going to take our command vehicle parking back there so the enemy doesn't just fly about and see the things. That we don't want them to see because we got secrets to hide right okay so we got the support we will since we brought this merch we're gonna take them oh uh, because only one right and then we're gonna take the vehicles the stars of the show uh we're gonna take two groups of three for each attacking column so what's our battle plan here we've got this congested port here on these roads here but we want to lock in uh these two with command vehicles immediately kind of want to and then threaten center right i've always been a fan of if, if the enemy knows okay i'm going to take this one you're going to take this one don't play into that like dig in defend super hard watch attack put pressure and take that point if you can because he might not be expecting you to take it but really push on it and be prepared to push through it right uh if you need to so with the infantry um they're going to be the ones doing the damage with their HGMs and their mortar. So our infantry component will be uh, two of these guys, or three of these guys, and then two of these guys, right, to support them in the back. Uh, and then for tanks that are going to roll with our, our main units, we will, because they're going to be out in front more, we're going to put these guys, see what, see what happens. Uh, support units there, boom. Boom, boom, and then boom, boom. Good support for those guys. And then for their tanks going over here, um, we hopefully will catch, if the enemy does take center, we're gonna catch him in an L shape. That's what we're gonna try to do. Uh, it might not work out that way, but that's gonna be the plan, because we're gonna push on where he, we think he's gonna go. And encircle him and destroy him. Let's see, the 70s. We're gonna take the faster tanks, even though they're gonna totally blitz out our, uh, Blitz out our PZ 89s. We're gonna just take them. Okay, so there's our two tank components. We might have to call in some more because we got a lot of points here, right? Boom. Um, and support vehicle missile guy. We're gonna take two of them. Really kind of keep the enemy from even threatening both both groups. This guy he can take infantry, and the infantry can be good. So we're gonna take one two, and we're gonna take one two. Not take a, not be a glutton here. We might have a attack force at Dimitri just to threaten it. So what we'll do is 
We'll take some cheapo tanks. We'll take some cheapies. One, two. And some vehicles to support them. And we'll do we'll do three. Yeah, we'll do three. Bump it. And then some so oh ooh, recon. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, guys. Uh one. Okay, we're in the back. In the back. That's almost all of our points there. So we'll get rid of you guys. Well, we're not gonna get rid of the vehicles. Okay, we're gonna do three. We're gonna do three there. And we're gonna do a three three on the tanks. We're gonna do cheapos, three, three, three. Three, three. Boom. And to be able to buy support for them. We won't have fun support. And it is dangerous, but they're out anyway. Um, so there it is. All the balanced units that we can have. We don't have any aircraft, but hey, maybe as we get more points, we'll call them in. We didn't bring any command vehicles, but remember we have 82 points. So our command vehicles only cost 85. So in a few seconds, we'll be gonna call one in. So we'll send him to the center. We will send these guys to the wing here and we'll have their company infantry kind of lag lag them boom uh recon get your butt out there getting moving and you guys get moving okay uh, we're gonna give them the advance orders to move their tanks okay, boom i like the chinese deck because i don't seem like i have to micro them as much they're all just tanks right Good tanks, not a lot of weak ATGM units um, with, uh, you know, light armor. It's just good tanks and a good vehicle. Simple, elegant, and effective. We are seeing, let's call that command vehicle in, huh? While we're talking smack. I don't know why the recon is detract already. Cheap tanks. I don't understand. supporting them with uh, so we are setting them already in a kind of a battle formation because we want to be able to maneuver if they come over Dimitri this is kind of where I am digging in a little bit we'll see our dog is not a dog fighter oh excuse me he is not a dog fighter do we have a dog fighter yes we do we have a dog fighter so it could be good for Chopper deniability. We're gonna bring him right over the top of our AA. That's here. The enemy is crossing the river, um, or coming towards the river, I should say. So we're gonna bring the tanks forward. But remember, we don't have to bring them so close because actually, we want you on the wings for the maneuver element of this. Um, they're gonna spot and we're gonna see how effective our units can be. Uh, these guys are kind of get your butt out there. Get over there. Get over there, please. And then you get over there. Alright, so let's see if we can catch the enemy side shot. Already. 80 84 point tank or 87 point tank and we're hitting them in the side uh, at range. Continue to uh, provide recon to our unit and get the support. Please stop, please, so we can side chop them. They are trying to bomb. See, they, they prioritize the T uh, PTZ 89s because they're good. Uh, we do have this component here, so we're gonna cut them off, even if they try to actually go over here, please. Lower the molasses on an eagle. I'll go there, thank you. So they're kind of sandwiched in the a rock and in, in my in my shells, right? It's rocking a hard place. We're popping them at will. Having said that, we're not gonna we're gonna get our guys in attack position to break on center. So once we deal with this take force, we're gonna deal with that. We're gonna roll our units this way. They've got tanks already attacking us here. But we're going to turn their flanks. And we're going to back him up. And so we are being attacked by the enemy here. But we're winning. And we're going to turn his flank. And our, we got support coming. So for this one, we're going to use their infantry to attack here. And we're just outmaneuvering the enemy at this point. We did lose our tank, but uh, we're 
we're gonna sell our cheaper tanks to charge because uh, we want the other guys to be unencumbered. These are both cruisers, so you can get there because the battle's already started. So now that we have units here, we're gonna engulf this uh, town. We're gonna engulf it and then uh, make a salient around the town so our infantry can take this position. Our smirch is gonna provide support in case the enemy starts calling in stuff. We're gonna try to cut them off. Kinda, and then, boom. Uh, we're gonna try to cut them off, so yeah. Moving our battle groups forward. There they go. They see stuff, they're attacking. There are tanks. Some choppers up there, look at that, boom. So we are, uh, we are in full assault mode here, trying to take center from the enemy. Uh, right, they are supporting. Uh, we're catching the enemy there at Dimitri. We probably need recon to see what's happening or going to happen next. Uh, coming around the bend there, but our infantry is here, so we're going to get them moving forward and take that city right we we're expecting that the since the enemy has a um had a command vehicle there that he might have dropped a crap ton of infantry and we don't like that so you see this guy he's stunning the enemy chopper there so our hopefully our this guy can kill it And we're gonna have our tanks can push forward because they need to engulf the enemy. So the there's the enemy rearing his ugly head, but he's got a good shot. So we'll back off the mark there. So we do have we push pretty far. Oh, uh, kind of uh, Michael Arrow there. Tell them to take the town. Maybe they can do it in a Chinese rush. We do have guys out here to support them on the wing. So even if the enemy does call something, we can kill it. So the enemy still has a command vehicle here, see? So they could be calling in stuff at any moment. We need to find that command vehicle yesterday. Or they could just spawn stuff on us. That could be a problem, so we're gonna move her. We got the command go good so crisis averted we're gonna call in a, uh, a chopper in here if you notice they've got infantry scattered all over the place but we're gonna quickly pick him up which is fast move. so they're kind of nimble very nimble fighting force uh the enemy is doing something here so we're gonna we already took out the command vehicles and get your butt to support those guys please we are child we're gonna stay here and kind of skirmish with the enemy. So what we're gonna do is call him a chopper. Uh, chopper, please. See this guy? And pop these units. Oof. One shot, one kill. Right, boom. We can see him with our recon. He can't see us. He's trading with a T-74, so he did get in the vanguard. <laughs> uh, we want to stop their advance, but they're going to get cut off from the choppers. We did pop the command vehicle. Um, and we're just trading very nice uh, until our tanks get in range. But, you know, there he's outnumbered and he's closing his side armor where we're not. is still getting hit even on the rich so reverse slope didn't save him nice all right so he's trying to i guess help these units we've taken this so we're going to get our troops back in their uh little troop transports and brace for a shock we're going to brace for the enemy to come here 
and he's got this one tank that's gonna get pop if you notice we have 3670 points of the enemy and you know we've only lost 234 and we've taken their center um, which typically they would already have home and we have Dimitri um, so we've got a chopper rolling in here but I don't necessarily have to I'm just gonna refuel my guys for an assault but I want to pincer them in Anna uh, from both sides so I don't want it to be a stand-up fight uh, so what I'm going to do is I will recon forward um, you know kind of what's going on here so can pop something of interest and this is why having your guys supported is good because that chopper even though it's a chopper came out of nowhere <laughs> it's an aerial unit and we didn't even see it we are out in the open here so let's let's do that let's kind of dig in a little bit but we don't want to make this too long so the enemy you know we'll get our stuff together now that we have we'll call in all the gas trucks here starting with the farthest ones first uh to get all these guys supported with gas uh we probably will not take them um we won't refill them with ammo because you know, let's see let's just check them these guys are probably good in shells i'm really worried about their shells we've got 30 half inch shell components 73 shell you know they're still good so the ability to stand off the enemy unless he you know rushes a whole bunch of units with our vehicles he's not going to be able to close a range enough most of the time to be able to do us damage he probably has some kind of AA there I'm gonna not risk it we're just gonna keep our see he's built up on this plateau here which for him is good because it's reverse slope and it doesn't make sense for us to attack up here it makes sense for us to attack here and down on him here so we get up on the slope and we pop his units so we might just dig in there uh, we have our unit coming in at a job and we have 600 points right so what we'll do is we'll leave him here and we'll take all of our infantry out here and take our, our PTZ 89 and send him out here to the wing support him here. Uh, actually stop nope we won't do that because they're almost out of gas so we will take him uh, I'm not seeing any units come this way so we can just trade all day with the enemy uh, we don't have to um, a little farther out there. this could be an opportunity for our aircraft to come into play so we've got the seed and we've got these little napalm bombers so we're gonna use them in tandem Gonna spot her here. And we're gonna tell him to go high, so he gets to see everything, including that buck. Get out of there, buddy. Good job. He did his job. Get out of there. One-two combo. Good job. Direct hit. So um, the infantry is probably gonna be readily handled. Uh, we will tell them to do gas first and then a little spell parts too. But we did get hit. Good panic. Um, so we've got this side. He has to cross this bridge or come this way. And it's not going to be a good look for him. Bob one of our vehicles. He's a smart guy. So you better hurry up get over there, buddy. People are going to die. All right, see the ability to stop the chopper right this second is imperative. We do see a Strela there. Uh, we won't be able to take it from the air, but we will be able to oh, the range of this thing is nice. Um, we have some auto cannons on our choppers. We got a human with an auto cannon? Nope. I guess if <laughs> not taking it was bad, right? All right, so we do. So to keep this thing kind of moving, we're gonna bring some weasels forward from here and some tanks. Right? Just we don't need a lot. We already have the infantry component, and we don't have any. Let's see, some cheapos. Do we want some cheapos? We want some bastos. We want some bastos. Right? This is uh, going in for terminal velocity here. So take all of our points there for some tanks. Probably actually take some support in because they could chopper rush us. So we'll take the rolling HQs there. 
we have him in the back. I kind of keep him back here. I, I did keep him back here on purpose because, you know, this whole salient is open. So if a chopper wants to come and, you know, do some damage, he could. So we kind of prevent that by having him there. Uh, we do have him. So we don't have to even be at this fight to see them pop all these choppers and guys because we're dug in like a phalanx. Longer range um, AA and a longer range um, perhaps means we can engage anything that comes down this rope. I just want to showcase that. So to kind of keep the action rolling, we're going to pop the location of the uh, kind of bombard it. Get our guys in some sort of uh, formation to prepare for the attack. Kind of get set up here. There is a gas truck here, so we're gonna back our guys here and get the gas because the tanks really got juiced or uh, uh, took a lot of their juice getting out there. He's stunning this tank. You see him zooming around, looking crazy. Look at those guys. Like, hey, what are you doing, man? That's not how you fly. Where'd you go to pilot school? We're not sure if we're, oh my goodness. So the smirch attack was very effective. Uh, the the Strayla kind of gave away their position <laughs> and the smirch did their job. So 6,000 points of damage, really good. Whatever we hit was, it was all right there. Uh, we did take 268 points, uh, or 269 points, excuse me, of kills uh, to us. The 95% kills, 4% casualties, took about 15 minutes. Um, the PZ, they did their job, uh, but look at this. I mean, for 35 points, even if you lose them, T80, T64, T64, T55, 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 right? The list goes on, T64, B, bam. This one tank pays for him, and he took out him, 15-point tank, Tunguska, 70, another 53-point tank, a buck, and another tank. These guys trade so effectively. Um, probably some of the best land units, dare I say land units in the game, besides some ATGM units. Um, obviously, you're going to pop this um, aircraft. So good job to you, aircraft. Good job to you. And a uh, chopper. All right, cool. But the the mark, marksman of the group is definitely going to be your PTZ-89. I mean, he trades just so effectively. It's if you have an opportunity to take him in a non-limited deck, because he is in a non-limited deck. If you have the opportunity to take him in a non-limited deck or in a group, take him because he just trades so effectively. These are 87 point tanks that he pops almost at will. One and two, right? And he's 34 points, 35 points. So even if you lose him, he takes out one unit. He's done his done his job. He's traded well. And you can take a lot of them, and they're cheap. Uh, the list goes on. Good job here. Um, even even their other tanks that are cheapos, um, we popped some of their <laughs> PTZ-89s, right? We started calling them in. Uh, the Berrettino got popped. I didn't see that, but guess, guess who popped them? The PTZ-89. Look at that. He gets a promotion. Um, some other cool things of interest. So this is your uh, Smirch. Right, got the what we were hitting. We were actually aiming for the Strela, uh, which is a Sonza, right? But it's a Strela. Uh, and then you've got the um, command vehicle that was parked right next to it with all these other logistical vehicles. Probably blew up the logistic vehicles and then blew up the command vehicle in, in tandem. So good job on him. He gets a promotion. Uh, what else we got? PZ 89s, of course, they're my babies. More tanks, more tanks. The infantry, I think these are, uh, really infantry. These are the, uh, mechanized units here. Um, did the infantry do anything? Yeah, these guys took out one infantry. The Chinese taking out the North Koreans there. Good job, Chinese taking out the North Koreans there. Uh, but that's what happens when you support your, your units. You know, their mechanized infantry is doing the most of the job. So losses, yes, you're going to lose some PTZ 89s. They're just not armored. Right, he, they get a free shot off. They're gonna hit it. Side armor. They're definitely gonna kill it. But I guarantee you, they took out five of the enemy, and he hates these things. Right? Um, Chopper got to it. You know, oops. North Korea got one off. But all in all, right? Really good gameplay. I hope you guys kind of saw how to balance out the um, 
the Chinese deck, the Red Horde with their limited units, and just being able to annihilate your opponent. So this is um, Desert Fox encouraging you to get in the Vanguard. Ladies and gentlemen, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day and goodbye.